In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the first descendant DirectX 12 not supported on your system error. Now, this is quite a common error, and I'm going to show you a few ways by which you can fix this forever and ever. Now, just follow along, okay? The first thing you want to do is down here on your computer, you want to go into search and type in graphic and look for graphic settings inside system settings. Now, click on this, and once this opens up, we have to add the first descendant game to the list of these games or these apps over here and the way you do this is by clicking browse up here and now follow me you have to first scroll down here and go to this pc click on your c drive go inside program files x86 go down and look for steam open it and then go down further and look for steam apps open this go inside common and in here, inside the first descendant. Then, you want to click on the first descendant.exe and click add. As you can see, this added the game to our list. You then want to click on options over here and use and click high performance up here where it says high performance and then your GPU and then you want to click save, okay? Now, once you've done that, that's the first thing we can do to fix this issue. The second thing we can do, we can now close this down, is to open up our Steam app over here, okay? Go to library, and then go inside the first descendant. You then wanna right click the first descendant, go to manage, and then in here, what you wanna do is click browse local files. Now, this will open up the exact same folder we've already seen earlier. What you wanna do is left click and then right click on this over here and click properties, okay? Now in here, you want to go into compatibility, and then what you want to do is enable this, disable full screen optimizations, and run this program as administrator, okay? Alternatively, what you can also do is click run this program in compatibility mode 4, and then click Windows 8, and leave it as that, click apply, okay, and that's it, okay? So these are two things we can do as well in here. Then come back to Steam, click right click on the first descendant, go into properties, and in here you wanna go inside installed files. Then you wanna press over here where it says verify integrity of game files. Click this, and this will start verifying your installed files and the integrity of those installed files. What this will do is basically screw the entire, um, scroll through the uh, entire um, directory of your files and check if there's any missed files, any malfunctioning files, perhaps any files that are missing and may be causing the issue on your system. Now this will take a bit to complete, can take a few minutes, but it's usually uh, not that long. And once that's done, you'll see uh, whether Steam has done anything or not. Uh, but usually it will just say everything is perfectly fine and it will automatically apply all the changes and fix the issues for you, okay? So that was the second thing you can do. Now, what you can also do, if this didn't fix your issue, we have one more thing we can do, okay? And that is updating your drivers. So what you wanna do here, if you want to uh, update your drivers, you want to actually check whether you have an NVIDIA or AMD uh, graphics card. So you probably know that. And then what you have to do is if you have NVIDIA, you wanna go to the NVIDIA official website and download the latest driver for your NVIDIA graphics card. Now, if you have AMD, do the same for AMD, go on their website, download the latest driver, and uh, simply install the latest drivers, and you'll be good to go. Now, after all the changes we have just done over here, what you have to do is then restart your computer for those changes to take effect, okay? And if that didn't help, the last thing you can do is actually type update in here, check for updates, and see in case you have any Windows updates. Now you wanna click check for updates over here. It will check for your Windows updates. And if you have any updates scheduled, simply run them through and let the Windows do its thing because this may be causing the issue as well. So that's pretty much it. As you can see, it found one update. You'd wanna press download and install over here and this will automatically restart your computer and install the new Windows updates. That's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did and fixed your issue, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.